in the two ways of mobilizing the power of the Holy Spirit is either by taking advantage of the economy of intimacy or by taking advantage of the economy of, economy of principles. The reason it is so is because intimacy is the ability to deploy power from the heavens. Why principles is the ability to deploy power from the earthly realm. And for man to be complete in his manifestation, he must touch the reality of the heavens and he must also touch the reality of the earth. The Bible said in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, God said, let us make man in our own image after our likeness. Theologians said the word make there is the word para. That means to form out of nothing. So man came from within God. And because man came from within God, it is where God dwells that the man will dwell. And so when God created that man in Genesis 1.26, he was nowhere because he was in God. He came from within God, so he lives only where God dwells. So there was nowhere to put the man. And he came in Genesis 2.7. And the Bible said God took the dust from the ground. And he said he formed the man. And the man he created from himself, he now planted him into the man he created from the dust. And the Bible said the convergence between the spirit man and the earthly man became a living soul. So the living soul is a bridge between the spirit and the natural. So for the living soul to make impact in time, there must be a contribution from the spirit man and there must be a contribution from the earthly man. If that does not take place, the man cannot dominate the earth realm. Why spirits run on one life? Animals also run on one life. Man runs on three lives. He's a, he's a strange creature. The spirit life is in Genesis chapter 2 verse 9. If man touch that life, he begins to live from the spirit realm like a god. The natural life, which is from the dust of the earth, is in the blood. In Leviticus 17 verse 11. The life of the flesh is in the blood. The soulish life is in his breath. He said he breathed into the man. The man became a living soul. So for a man to function correctly, he must be planted in the spirit through intimacy. And he must be planted in the earth realm through principles. The foundation of the earth is not a rock. The foundation of the earth are laws. They are principles. And any man who is not planted on principles cannot dominate this realm. The foundation of the spirit is the breath of God. And so any man who does not connect to God through intimacy cannot live from that realm. So when a man wants to make progress, he needs to formulate this alignment order accurately so that the Holy Ghost can flow through him. That is when that man can have victory.